Hi, Michael Boyle again for Stack.com with some training tips. This week we're going to talk about one, how to do more chin-ups and then potentially some different grips that you can use for your upper body pulling variations. What we're going to look at here is vertical pulls. Obviously the simplest thing that we want to look at here is a band assisted chin-up. When we look at band assisted chin-up we're going to have Nick come over and just throw a leg in here. So I'm going to bring this down for him. He's going to reach up. We're going to start with a chin-up grip and I'll just slide out of his way. So we want to start with a palms up grip because you're going to get some assistance from your biceps. He's going to get some assistance from the band. Go ahead and just bang out a couple for us. He's obviously being assisted by the band. The good thing here, the assistance is greater in the bottom, less in the top. We can also do holds and what we find with our younger kids is that chin-up holds become a pretty good exercise for us because in the holds we can get kids to think more about using their back musculature. One of the things we run into with trying to get somebody to do chin-ups is they want to make it an arm exercise. We want to make it a back exercise. So just jump up and do a five second hold. Here again with kids we can use a spotter, we can use a hold, we can just say I want him up there three, four, five and I'm poking his lats getting him to think it's coming from here, it's coming from here, it's not a bicep exercise. We can also work, just go up and do one hold and then one eccentric we can combine holds with eccentric. So he's going to go up, we're going to get a five second isometric, two, three, four, five, and then a five second eccentric, five, four, three, two, one. So those three tools are going to help you to get somebody from zero to one, and then maybe from one to two and two to three between band assisted, and I like the combination, band assisted, eccentric, holds, I don't think any one of them works like magic, but I think the three of them together work pretty good. The other thing we're going to do is maybe switch to parallel grip and Nick will just show us some parallel grip. I think in terms of ease, chin up is going to be easiest because you'll be able to use your biceps. Parallel grip is going to be second because you can use your forearm flexors. And then your real true pull up grip, just flip around and go pull up grip. This is going to be the hardest and I think this is one of the reasons people screw up is they start trying to learn a pull up in the beginning. We want someone to start trying to learn a chin up, progress to parallel grip, then eventually progress to pull up. The other thing that we're going to do here from a set rep standpoint that kind of breaks the rules that we've been talking about, we'll do lots of sets of one, two and three with our pull ups, particularly when we have people that that's all they can do. If we have someone who can do one, we might have a workout that does three sets of one or four sets of one or five sets of one pull up where they're consistently working on that pattern and we've actually created pressures, progressions where if someone can do five singles they'll then be able to go two, one, 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 so they might be able to do a double and then four singles and eventually work their way down, two, two, one, 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 two, 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 one, one, and you go from five sets of one to five sets of two over a period of about ten weeks and you think that's not a lot of progress but when you can take somebody from zero up to two and potentially three and four, they get excited, people love to be able to do this lift. I'm Michael Boyle for Stack.com, we'll see you next week with another strength and conditioning tip.